right, hello class. So we are going to begin um, continuation of our lesson about logic, and we're going to start out with truth tables. Um, truth tables help us talk about uh, our logical statements and kind of categorize them better and um, just figure out uh, information about the, uh, the propositions. So here you can see that I have written um, P equals the test was hard. Um, P could represent any proposition that I want it to be. Um, it doesn't matter. I'm just using that as an example. P, what could happen? It could be a true statement. The test was hard. It could be a false statement that the test was not hard. Those are the only two options. It's either true or it's false. Now, we've already mentioned what a negation is. Negation is just the opposite of whatever P is. So if P is true, then not P is going to have to be false. And if P is false, then not P, P will be true. And then if we look at this third column, we have the not of not P. This is called a double negation as we learned in our last lesson. So I'm taking the negation of this column right here. So if not P is false, then not not P is going to be true. And if not P is true, then not not of P will be false. And what's pretty cool about this, I think my video stopped, I'm sorry, but what's pretty cool about this is if you look at this column right here that I just circled, the negation of not P is the same thing as P, true, false. And so that was the whole idea that we had mentioned earlier when we talk about the double negation, it just brings us back to um, our original statement, which is pretty cool. All right, so now we want to talk about two specific words. The first one is a conjunction. There's three ways that we can look at a conjunction. A conjunction can be written as the word and. This is kind of how we notice it. Um, it will say P and Q, and you might identify P and Q as something. We also call conjunctions intersections. So anytime we use that word and, we'll use the word intersection. That is actually how I will refer to it throughout this class. I don't use the word conjunction very often. Lastly, the notation is this little horseshoe looking symbol that is um, upside down and that you that is red, P, and Q. And the idea with an intersection is that both things have to happen. So if you think about an intersection on a road, it's where two roads come together. It's not just one road, it's where both have to come together. And so it's the same thing here in logic. Both things have to occur. So let's say we have some proposition P, we have some proposition Q, and we want to look at P and Q. Well, if we think about all the options for P and then Q, we could do P is true, Q would be false, P is true, uh, Q is true, P is false, Q is false, and P is false, and Q is true. And those are our only different options. And as we already said, in order for P and Q to be um, true, both things have to happen. So the only one where both things happen, both things are true, is right here, true and true. All of the other ones have a false statement at least once. As soon as you see one false statement, the whole thing or the whole intersection is false. And that's the idea of an intersection. Now, we want to talk about a um, the or statements, and that's a little different. So when we look at, oops, excuse me, it's the same page. Um, when we talk about ors, we can also refer to those as disjunctions. They're also called unions. Again, this is how I will often refer to it in this course. I don't really use the term disjunction. And um, then the notation is just a U symbol. So it makes sense that that's called the union. You use the U symbol. Now with unions, there are two different types that we actually have. We have inclusive and exclusive. If you're dealing with inclusive, it refers to either or both. So either it's raining outside or it's sunny outside, or it could be rainy and sunny at the same time. Whereas exclusive is only one or the other happens. It's either rainy or it's sunny, but in both, it cannot do both things at the same time. Now, you have to differentiate which one you're talking about when referring to logic. In this course, we will always assume that we are dealing with inclusive unless told otherwise, meaning we'll always think about either or both. So the intersection is included in the or statement. So like we did before, we're going to do um, make our truth table. P could be true, Q could be false, P true, 
um, Q true, P false, Q false, P false, Q true. And now we want to talk about the, the uh, union. Now what's different here is a second ago we were talking about intersections. Intersections both had to be true. But now we're talking about the inclusive or. So only one thing has to be true. If both are true, awesome. But we only need at least once. So I see a true here. I see a true here. And I see a true here. So all of these are true statements. And the only time that P or Q would be false is if both parts are false. And that's the only time that we would ever see um, that appear. Okay? All right, and those are the main ideas. You can uh, look at the PDF document for some more practice and some um, further assistance, but those are the main ideas of our logical statements.